The Jets, they've added future Hall of Famer Aaron Rodgers this offseason. Well, now they added four-time Pro Bowler Dalvin Cook. And he said, quote, when you dig deep and look into the roster, I think all the pieces are put together. Joy, do the Jets have all the right pieces? I don't think they do. Mm. I don't think they do. It looks like it. But we keep talking about the offensive line. I don't fundamentally believe that you can win without the offensive line as a unit being at least competent. What happened with the Chiefs in the Super Bowl? Mm. Patrick Mahomes, talent everywhere. Couldn't protect him. It's so important. And, and the reason I, I, I like to show the big guys love is because it's not just one position or the other. They're a unit. You can have a position group. Mm -hmm. And you can have a, 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 a group of guys that need to work together. But the offensive line needs to be choreographed. They have to understand where everyone is blocking. On, but it's, it's, there's so much that goes into it. And the fact that we're, we're, this was my question going into the season, and now it's the question that we're seeing on Hard Knocks, and now it's the question that Aaron is talking about. Aaron is not a mobile quarterback. Aaron is not going to, to extend plays the way that a Russell Wilson or a Jalen Hurts is, is going to, to spin out and do that, Daniel Jones. It may help them that he can get it out fast, but we haven't... Do, do, does he want to do that? Does he want to deal with that? He's a perfectionist. He likes things a certain way. So I can't go and say that they have everything they need because the unit, to me, that is essential to having success, particularly in the postseason, is not in place yet. It's interesting. I, I would say they do have all the right pieces. Now, I agree with Joy to some degree. I think they have all the right pieces, including offensive line. The question is, will you put the pieces together? There it is. Like, let's make no doubt about it. They're starting left tackle Dwayne Brown, Pro Bowler 2021. They're starting left guard Tomlinson, Pro Bowler 2021. They're starting center, second round pick out of Wisconsin. If anybody knows anything about college football, Wisconsin knows how to run the rock and block the run. Mm -hmm. Starting right guard Elijah Vera Tucker, who... Head coach Robert Sala said is a Pro Bowl talent tackle and a All Pro talent guard, first round pick. Makai Becton should step into that starting right tackle place. He protected Lamar Jackson when Lamar Jackson was winning Heisman's. Only reason he's not starting now, the coach don't know if he's in good enough shape because he's about 6'6", 350, 360 pounds, and to some degree, if you talk to real Jets beat writers, it seems like Sala's trying to prove a point. Mm -hmm. It's not that he's not starting talent, but it's just like, hey, we're not gonna start you right now. You need to show us you can come to camp back to back days. So it seems it's more principle based than it is talent. Talent base. So when I think about the pieces, on, even on the old line, I think they are right. Running back, I think they are right. Receiver, I think they are right. Defensively, y'all need no introduction there. My only question: Do they have enough of the right pieces? So uh, it's yes and no for me. I know I shouldn't say this, but for the offensive line, I, I was worried about them or concerned. But then again, they are kind of banged up, right? And I think that they should be fine by time. Three starters starts. are out right now. Yeah, so, so they're banged up, but that has a line. They always rotate till the time to go. They'll be ready to go. My real question is. The wide receiver room. Yeah. We talk about so much about Garrett Wilson. That's, that's one guy. He's mm -hmm. still young, a lot of talent. talent. He's got to get there, but he has a lot of talent. I think he, he'll do well this year, but, but who else? You got Corey Davis. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's never had a thousand yards. I like Corey. Alan Lazard, I don't think that he gets that type of contract if Aaron Rodgers ain't for the Jets. He doesn't. I don't think teams are banging on the door to try to get him. Yeah. A Rod did him a favor. One of my homies, yeah, let's get him. Let's, yeah, he, he cool. He's my guy. I like, I rock with him. Uh -huh. All right, and then who else? And then McCole Hartman, I think he's a, a, a phenomenal um, speedster, a lot of talent, but never was in that role to be a number one or number two. Mm. So as much as we talk about the wide receiver or the linemen, we need to talk about the wide receivers. I, I agree and then, with that. And then Randall Cobb, like he's he my age, I think. And they, they, did no, him him. Too. they did him a solid. Yeah, yo, I, I know you took my first boy, but this is my other homie. I need, I this is my man. Can you let like one more to so, so you, you got space for one more. Yeah, you know I mean, you know what that is. So, so my thing is like, yeah, yeah. I, I think they have enough talent from offense and defense. Mm -hmm. I think they have solid coaching with Salah, and I think Aaron Rodgers is a leader that they can get there. But mm -hmm. to get over the hump with this wide receivers, I was doing some homework last night. Like, yep. they don't have enough over there. James, if I'm being honest, and I'm glad we have you here for this, that's also why I had such an issue with Robert solid calling out the O-line. Because uh -huh. when push comes to shove, he called out the O-line on Hard Knocks this past episode. When push comes to shove, I don't think it'll be the O-line that lets him down. Mm. The Jets have a number one receiver and a whole bunch of number three receivers. And you know three. that. You should know that. You I know put, Alan Lazard's I a number three. I Corey as a two, though. You could. I think yeah. he has a, he's had like an 800-yard season. Yeah. But, like, McCall, he's a three. Randall Cobb is... And, and Randall Cobb, you know, I like Randall Cobb. Good dude. A phenomenal human being. But Aaron Rodgers did him a solid. Yeah. So I actually... I'm with 2-5 on that. Where you at? Mm. Um... I, well, first off, I think they got everything they got in the building, right? If you're talking about a healthy Jets football team, I think they have everything you got. You Rotation-wise, if you find a good chemistry with those big boys up front to find the right five, I think they got everything you got. The blessing 
about playing with a future Hall of Fame quarterback is you're not really going to play him man to man, right? So a lot of these receivers out there, the Corey Davis, the Randall Cobbs, the, you know, Wilson, they're going to see a lot of zone coverage because if you play 12 or AR8 man to man, he is going to pick you apart. And I don't care who's out there at the wide receiver spot. So I'm confident in the receivers because they are going to see a lot of zone coverage, right? And another reason they're going to see a lot of zone coverage is because you got two running backs who can tote it, mm -hmm. right? So I don't think the wide receivers and that wide receiver room will be a problem because they are going to be sitting in zones. They are going to be getting the ball on time. Aaron Rodgers is going to be getting the ball out of his hands. They are going to be making plays. So I'm not worried about that. It's not like Corey Davis got to go out here and have 1,100, right? Corey can have 800, right? Wilson can have 1,500. Alan Lazar can have another 800. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I'm not really necessarily worried about that. They have guys in that receiver room. When it's time to make a play, they can make a play. Here's my thing, though, Jay, is if you look at recent Super Bowl champs, mm -hmm. they all have two good receivers. Mm -hmm. Now, receiving weapons, right, because Travis Kelsey's a tight end. Okay, who, but you who think was about the, the Chiefs. One? You think about the Rams. You, in the Super Bowl, you had Odell Beckham, you had Cooper Cup. No, I'm saying who was the second one for the Chiefs this year? Travis Kelsey. Who, who was oh, the who's one? number two? Exactly. Ah. Uh, <laughs> historically speaking. <laughs> historically speaking. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and obviously Mahomes and Andy Reid, yeah, they're yeah, different. He's special. But when you go back to the Bucks, y'all had well, y'all had about four. Yeah, but you had A B, you had Mike Evans, you had Chris Godwin, you had Gronk. My goodness. I'm just curious, and again, maybe Rodgers is Maybe Rodgers and Hackett can be Mahomes and Reed, and you don't need a second yeah. one. And, and maybe for, that's true. And for the record, not to say he's wrong, but for the Bucks, when we beat him in the playoffs, we play man. We play man's blister. We just we shut you him just, down. You blitzed yeah, yeah, we shut him down. We, we played man. But the, the Airbus might not play man. We played man. Okay. So y'all weren't, we weren't afraid? Yeah, nah. We're defensive nah, coordinator. Not in the playoffs. Nah. You know what I'm saying? But he, man, I'm not saying he's wrong, but, say, but we played man. Carry on. I appreciate you. Sometimes that happens. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Kudos to y'all. Hey, look, look. You we know. played, man, after the game. You see the pictures of him and Randall Cobb walking together. <laughs> man, it's, a great, it's a great ride while we last. Yeah. Are you retired? I don't know, man. It's a great ride. But we played, man. Anyway, we played. Oh, good, good. Yeah. <laughs> we. He was, he was on the offensive side of the ball. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Good. I got one. So we play, we play low. We play low, man. Like, man really. Good for y'all, man. Oh, man. Good for y'all. Hey, nobody gonna play man against Aaron Rodgers. I ain't got Aaron Rodgers. Hey. Hey. Nobody gonna play man against him. I, I played with. Sure, we we did. I played with twelve for eight years. He ain't gonna see too much, man. Hey, yeah, the, hey, the first seed. Kudos, kudos to them Joy. playing some man because in that game, Aaron Rodgers missed a bunch of throws in man to man coverage that was wide open. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And third, and third, Nate, hey, and third, hey, Joy. That's they all. They had the number one seed. You know, we can't beat them. Number one seed. The Fonzie Adams over there. Ain't no way. Play man against them. Yeah, y'all shouldn't have won, but y'all did. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? I, I apologize, America. That's what happens when you let two alphas in the same room at the same time. Oh, they both got Super Bowl rings. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.